Well, I think you do stand a really good chance with Congress with a 10 percent uh, approval rating. Uh, my issue is this. Why didn't the libertarians approach you in the last cycle? Nothing against their candidate, but does anyone even remember their name? Yeah, the last candidate was Gary Johnson. I, 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 I campaigned for him because I didn't want to run, Alex. The point is you've got to pick your battle. 2016 is the most opportune time because there'll be no incumbent. No, no, I agree with you. And, and, and of course, for the independent movement when Obama won re-election, because if Romney would have won, then you'd have an incumbent in 2016. You have to have an election with no incumbent. Sure, absolutely. Sure, sure. I mean, of course, I see the reason I didn't want 2012 alone, because I don't do it to lose. I do it to win. And, uh, and I don't do it just to make a statement. And no, I remember. I remember. Sixteen is the best opportune time, and that's why I laid the gauntlet down. People got two years to get me ballot access, but I will. I don't care. I don't want the Libertarian Party. I want to run with no political party. No, I remember you last year explaining all that. I was being sarcastic. I like Gary Johnson overall. I just meant he didn't get hardly any attention. We tried to give him attention, but 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 people would. Uh, of, of, of giving attention to Jesse Ventura, and I think it may have made more of a statement uh, than you think it would, but I agree with you. The magic number is 2016 uh, for uh, to ever have somebody who's not part of the system uh, run for president, but we've talked about this. Uh, do you think that they would come after you with more than just smears? Oh, of course, I don't know what they do, but you know, it all depends what you're polling. I mean, if you're polling 2%, they're, not, they're going to ignore you. But if, if you all of a sudden are polling 20% or better, well, then, yeah, then mainstream media and the two parties, they're going to they're gonna come at you with both guns loaded. You'll see them team up on you. You know, all of a sudden, Democrats and Republicans will become bosom buddies when it comes to a third entity. But my belief is, what the hell more can they do to me, Alex? Nothing. They've already tried to marginalize me, and they tell the world I'm crazy and all that stuff. But... We know better than that. And the point is, I would go into the race pretty cavalier, really. Because, I mean, I have nothing to lose, do I? No. There you go. The only way you'd lose uh, is by not taking action, because you could win, but regardless, you'd inject real issues. So either way, you win by running. The only way you lose is by not running. Well, and again, but I, I want some proof that the American people are going to stand with me and the only way I see that is they're going to have to do a grassroots effort in all 50 states to get me on the ballot, get me ballot access. So it's now time for people to organize, and, yeah. then, and then you will step into the arena. When I see that I'm on, when I see that I've got ballot access, if I get it in all 50 states, I will give it very serious consideration. But that's what it'll take. So I figure I'll still be living in Mexico. Well, you better be ready, obviously, for more. I'll be ready, but the point is, it ain't going to happen. I don't believe it will. I don't. I think they've been drinking too much water. They got too much Prozac in their bodies to care. Well, Not enough of them. People ask why Americans put up with so much. Our IQs have dropped about twenty points just from the hydrofluorosilicic acid. The roundups on record causing breast cancer to skyrocket, and we're all just basically narcotized, dying. Uh, we've been hit with a chemical attack, so you can't get mad at the public, Governor. They're victims. They are victims, but again, uh, you know, like I said, Alex, I still, I'm not going to do it on my own. i got to have the people with me, and I need some sign that they will be, and that's the perfect way. Let me see ballot access in all 50 states. they got two years to do it. Let's talk about how people can organize that on the other side, get into your lawsuit that continues against Chris Kyle to get your name back, uh, and so much more, and some phone calls for former Minnesota Governor Jesse Ventura. His show still airs uh, with huge audiences on uh, True TV, Conspiracy Theory with Jesse Ventura, and we'll tell you about his new book that's coming out. Pro Pure is introducing Pro One, all of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go, this is the Pro One by ProPure. You wanted it, you got it. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. 
Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It cuts out the acid derivative of fluoride. It is the only one that does it. And out of the gates, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. This is a revolution against the tyrants. They love putting the toxic acid base of fluoride into your water. They love the fact that it's an adjuvant supercharging the trace Prozac in the water and the hormones and the other chemicals. By cutting out fluoride, you cut out the turbocharger in all the poison being artificially introduced into your body. This is what I use. It's a win-win. You get a high-quality product at the lowest price. You support the InfoWar. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Governor, we got a bunch of callers that want to talk to you. The toll-free number to talk specifically to Jesse Ventura, folks, is 800-259-9231. If you have a question, a comment, 800-259-9231, and we will get you up and on the air with the governor. But I don't want to uh, hog him too much, but he won't be back with us till the book comes out uh, in October, and he's promised us to come on first when he does those interviews. Uh, but expanding, expanding what we were just talking about, uh, dealing with the NSA and dealing with both parties circling the wagons and, and Congress having a 10% approval rating. I mean, this just can't go on forever, Governor. What do you, what scenarios, you're a pretty you're a politically savvy guy, what scenarios do you see unfolding? Well, uh, I, you know, again, I, I, I don't see any change naturally coming out of the two parties. They're going to come forward. I think we're going to end up with probably Hillary Clinton and maybe Jeb Bush. Ugh. Uh, or, you know, or some, maybe, you know, Chris Christie might sneak in there or whatever. But nothing's going to change as long as these as long as the two parties continue to control our government. People that think you're going to have change are sadly mistaken. I mean, Obama ran on complete opposite of George Bush, and yet when he got in office, he's been he's rubber stamped George Bush's policies and just carried on right forward. That's all you're going to get, no matter which side wins. So the real revolution in this country has to come by stop electing them. You know, and is that feasible? Probably not. Because the people just, I don't know why. Like you talked about them having only a 10% approval rating, yet over 90% of them get reelected. I agree with what you're saying. And uh, th there's a clip we'll play in a few minutes of Ralph Nader saying Obama may be the greatest con artist in history. Because with Bush, he would pretty much say what he was going to do. And it was, it was atrocious to watch unfold. But with Obama, it's like his bombs are love bombs. Uh, his secret arrests are loving. Uh, you know, everything he does well, is... he's a Democrat. <laughs> yeah, it's disgusting. <laughs> they, they do the same thing, but they, they pat you on the back while they're doing it. The Republicans kind of kick you right in the knee when they do it. The Democrats sidle up to you and put their arm around you, but they do the same thing. It's disgusting. Speaking of you running for president, uh, I mean, hand out marching order specifics of of what you'd like to see so you could run. And then I want to make the point, I mean, I'll make it now and get your comment. When I talk about dirty tricks and looking out, people that ask you to run better be ready to support you, whatever happens, because they already said you were in a, you know, fight with police, basically, when you weren't even in California. Uh, and it looks like it was Hulk Hogan, you know, in an argument with police. They already said that you were outside a bar, you know, saying, you know, down with the Navy, you know, SEALs, I'm glad they're dead. And uh, so, so, so that's what I wanted to ask you. First off, Chris Kyle, how bizarre is it that he gets killed like that in very suspicious circumstances? And where is the lawsuit going right now? Well, it is bizarre. I didn't learn about it over the Internet when I was in Mexico. The lawsuit is that uh, the way the law works now is his wife becomes...
becomes the executive of his estate, so I'm forced to sue her, which I have done. Now, again, I have no beef with her at all, but that's the procedure you have to follow. And nobody, none of the attorneys on that side will offer an apology or will speak the truth. So we're heading to court, I guess, and I'm fully prepared to go. Uh, I, and that would actually be the best for me because when a jury and a judge find for me, then everyone in the world it can do what it can to restore my reputation that he's tried to destroy for, I, and I don't know what reason. I've been cheated too because I certainly want him alive so we can put him on the stand and and I'd like to know why he tried to throw me under the bus. Well, he, he was, was simply because I opposed the Iraq war, which any citizen has a right to do that. Well, I've no, but uh, you know, so I've been cheated too, but the procedure says that I have to move forward and bring the lawsuit against her. And I know Bill O'Reilly got on TV or something last week and and looked into the camera and told me to do the right thing and drop the lawsuit. Well, of course he's going to say that because he's part of News Corps, and News Corps is also part of this publishing company. And believe me, when if I win this lawsuit, I'm coming after them next. Absolutely. Look, I'll, I told you day one, they timed it right when you went over the border, knowing you don't have a cell phone, knowing it took you days to get out there so you couldn't respond. They were already putting out dirty tricks. I've been the victim of these as well. And they were already engaged in that to try to destroy you. He was put up to it to sell the books, undoubtedly. And uh, then he's mysteriously killed when you start winning the court case. I mean, for those that don't know, you were winning. It's going forward. You have witnesses. He didn't. You're going to win this. Now he's dead because when it, he was involved in very high-level national security shadowy uh, operations uh, and was and, and bragged in his book that he told lies in the media and engaged in psyops. And I, 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 my gut tells me he said, "Look, I'm not going down for this. You guys need to admit you put me up to it." And and they took him out. Well, I don't know. I can't make any statements concerning that at all, Alex. I don't know. You know, all I know is what 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 that my main objective has always been, and I offered it to him a year ago, the first time I ever met him at a preliminary conference. All it would have taken then was an apology and to admit that the story didn't happen and he wouldn't do it. And so now it's been a year later and thousands upon thousands of, of lawyer dollars spent. Sure. And I'm so far into it now, I have to see it to the conclusion. So uh, as far as I can tell you right now, we will go to trial. I feel confident uh, that the evidence is what it is. That it never happened. And if you can lose a trial where something didn't happen, well, then I know that the United States of America truly indeed has lost its moral compass. <laughs> Absolutely. We saw the good news with the Supreme Court ruling that they can't patent our genes and then not let us have our own genes as a treatment. But uh, getting back to this, uh, I just want to be a character witness here for you, getting to fly around with you, getting to know you over the last now seven, eight years, time flies. The only time, and the truth is you're, you know, you're a big sentimental teddy bear, the only time I've seen you tear up is when you see troops in the airport or veterans or people with their arms or legs blown off. I've seen you repeatedly talk about that's why I oppose the war, you know, is because of what it does to my fellow people in uniform. Yeah, I know you're sentimental. Your dad won a bunch of battle stars in the Battle of the Bulge. You know, you come from a military family, and I, and, and I don't want to you know, sit here and get sappy. But, I mean, uh, that's why it's such an evil lie to say you'd go to a Navy SEAL commencement and then you'd say Navy SEALs deserve to die.